Um, have an arrow sandwich. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy. Gaming in, and in this episode, we're going to go out and uh, see if we can find the loom. That's kind of our main uh, goal for this episode. Uh, but uh, first thing is I now have all of the stuff that I need to upgrade our flame again. Um, all of this stuff was relatively easy to get except for saffron. Uh, getting saffron in quantity... Um, this game is kind of a pain in the butt. I'm not going to lie. Um, so what I did was I pretty much went all around the Kendall Waste in this, excuse me, in this area here. And um, I noticed that this area kind of north of where I have this marker, that little area in there, and also this area kind of to the south of the Bone Shard Excavation Camp seems to have the highest concentrations um, of, uh, of the, uh, saffron, but uh, that is very relative. I'm only, we're still only talking about maybe a half a dozen, um, you know, plants. Uh, so I just kind of went all over the place and, you know, mined up a bunch of other stuff as well. Um, but eventually I got enough saffron to, you know, to do our upgrade. Now, if you're wondering, well, why didn't you just plant it? Well, the thing is, is I need, uh, in order to plant saffron, I need an ingredient that I don't yet have. Uh, so that is, yeah, this fertilized farm soil. Um, so we have to get the tool, you know, the next tool for the alchemist before we can make that uh, because it requires nitrate. Um, so, yeah, so a couple other things. Let's see. I now have a new bow here, an ignited bow. Uh, I found this over at the iron mine. And I also found a um, a sword. Where is that at? I got stuff all over the place. Yeah, I also found this minor arcana sword uh, as well. And it um, it does a total of thirty six damage because if you upgrade it, it will have. Uh, it'll add six shock magic damage to it, but that's still only a total of 36 and we're sporting a 44 damage axe here. So it's not really an upgrade for us, but it's kind of cool though. Um, you know, if we would have found it earlier on, it might've been useful to us, but I'm going to, I'm going to hang on to it for the moment just because it's, you know, it's kind of unique. Um, and yeah, so we're going to do that and let's see, I, oh, I also, killed the sickle scythe boss again but i got ripped off because it essentially fell through the world and i wasn't able to loot its stuff So yeah, we'll go after that again. Uh, one of the things that I've learned since the last time that I fought that boss um, is that you can block, uh, I don't think, you can't block the skull, but you can block the sickles that it throws at you with your shield. Um, so, you know, knowing that, you know, I, I it'll be a little bit easier to defeat if I just, you know, kind of time all of that stuff right. As far as the basement goes, I have been uh, working down here. I got it all dug out. I've got the floor in and the walls in, and I kind of did this little um, thingamadoodle here <laughs> uh, underneath the flame altar itself. So we put some pillars up, some stone railing, and some lighting, and I put one of the glowing blocks um, down underneath it just because that's kind of what I felt like doing. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. 
Uh, so yeah, that's what we did. So this is all now completed in terms of just, you know, digging it out and getting it lined up. But the next step down here, of course, will be to put in some rooms for our crafts people. Uh, we're also going to put in a big, you know, bathroom down here too. Or maybe we'll give each one of them their own bathroom in their rooms. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. And um, I've also made a couple of large, or no, actually, these are the extra large chests. Um, but I haven't made them magic chests yet because I'm still missing some ingredients. So everything that you see in here is all stuff that I pulled, you know, just extra stuff that I pulled out of, um, mostly out of the Kendall Waste. Uh, this, of course, is from the Highlands itself. A lot of palm wood and... Um, so that's just kind of temporarily sitting in there. I do, like I said, I have crap all over the place. I need to have a come to Jesus meeting with my storage here pretty quick. But the thing that's holding me back from doing that actually is um, enshrouded oil. And again, we need to get the alchemist, um, you know, the alchemist tool, the next thing he wants us to get in order to be able to make this. So really, that means what we're going to do is we're going to go after the loom first because I want to start making you know, pad, uh, padding so that we can then make the um, uh, the deer stalker set, which requires padding, as you can see here. Um, and then probably our next highest priority is going to be, you know, to get the, the tools that this guy needs because he's got a couple of things we need to make as well. All right, Emily's got a couple new quests for us. Uh, let's see what she's got. She's got Caravan Journey. I came here with a caravan from the faraway Kendall Waste. We were led by Jasmina, daughter of the late Queen Pikemead. I've, uh, I'd have followed her anywhere, but in the end, she left. The ancients foresaw different paths for us. I wish they hadn't. I'd give anything to walk beside her once more. Okay, so, um, so we've already kind of sort of, um, come across some of these caravan things. Like, you know, there's the southern caravan there. Um, I, I went, I was there a few, several episodes ago and I couldn't, really find anything to trigger that but but let's go back and look at that one more uh, uh, again i don't know if we'll get to that in this episode but we'll see uh we also need to get up to this fortification because that's going to get us a new block and i have um an altar uh, really close to that location just from wandering up that direction and uh yeah so i think that's pretty much where we currently are um and so let's get started then with these quests so we're going to go to here and we want uh, i want to do the loom first so we're going to make that our main quest and if we do a uh uh why is show on map not working it it works here but it doesn't work here what the hell find the weaver's cottage in east lapis hmm that's probably a bug i'm thinking east lapis i don't even know where the hell that's at um Sun Temple Stories, Southern Caravan. There's a big town right here that I didn't go into. I just kind of saw it, you know, as I was going in that direction. So I'm not even sure where East Lapis is. But um, it could be around here. I think the carpenter's the one that wants us to go into the Sun Temple for some reason. Which we will, of course, do. Um, we just get, I guess we just fight the, the, the Sickle Scythe monster again. Um, and then also the beehive smoker is something that we, okay, so this is a tavern in Brittlebush. Where's that on the map? Okay, so that's potentially the name of that big town, Brittlebush. So we'll be heading in that direction. But the thing that has me a little bit concerned is this does not tell us where to go on the map. It just says Weaver's Cottage in East Lapis. But there's no, you know, down here, there's no press F to see where this is on the map. So I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Uh, this is the thing we need to get here to, you know, for the, um, the alchemist. And that's actually here. I, I was near this area farming, but I didn't actually activate anything uh, because I wanted to do all of that stuff on camera. So maybe we'll hit this first. And then work our way up this direction to see if that opens up, you know, helps us find this east uh, lapis area. So I think that's what we'll do. So that being the case, then let's actually make this the main quest for the moment. And then we have a few other little, you know, just uh, side quests here to do as well. Um, I now have in my inventory um, grilled yucca fruit. It's the same stamina recharge as sugar, except for... 
that the yucca fruit will last seven minutes instead of just the five minutes of the sugar. So we'll use these last two sugars up, and then from then on out, we'll use yucca fruit for stamina recharge. Uh, I have meat wrap, which gives us five constitution and one intelligence, mostly doing this for five constitution. That'll give us a lot of health. But having a little extra intelligence is not a bad thing because it does make our blink attack when we blink into an enemy and do damage a little more. That uh, gives that a little more power. Uh, I have replaced the chamomile tea with the, uh, tea with the fruit bowl, plus six health regen and plus three stamina recharge. And we're continuing to use the plus four dexterity vegetable soup for our, you know, our archer build here. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade our flame. We got everything we need to do that. Let's do it. Strengthen the flame. Everything's there. Let's do it. Flame level six. Fan freaking tastic, man. All right, cool. So that um, that gave us uh, one attribute point in all of the main attributes. And uh, that's it. So we are maxed out on strengthening the flame. It also added more time in the shroud for us. Another minute, I think. And did some other, you know, gave us a couple other really cool benefits. So we are now f maxed out on flame strengthening. And we don't have to worry about that for the rest of this particular playthrough, which is cool. Alrighty then, so I think we're ready to set out. Um, I do have 214 poisoned iron arrows, which are the strongest arrows that I can make. I, I had so many poison glands because I've been getting them off of the scorpions, you know, when I go out and farm the Kendall Waste, that I figured, what the hell, let's just turn these iron arrows into poison arrows because, you know, you have to make the iron arrows anyways, and then the poison arrows, you just add poison to them essentially. Uh, so we'll be using those as our main weapon. But I will also continue to, you know, for just basic stuff, we'll continue to just make, um, you know, wooden arrows for, you know, for the normal stuff. So let's just grab a stack of twigs for that. And I think we're ready to go. I think we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and um, uh, I guess we're going to do the alchemist quest first. So we need to go to... Um, how about, let's go to here and then we'll, then we'll uh, work our way over to that location. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, they have came, uh, come out with an update for the game, by the way, um, this morning, I think it was, uh, t today, which is February the 26th. And among other things, what they've done is they've increased the amount of twigs that we get um, to make, you know, making arrows and whatnot uh, a little easier to do. So I can very easily two-shot these guys with the iron arrows. Let's actually make some of the wooden ones, though. Oh my god, that's a lot of arrows. Because it's 210. Um, yeah, we go through them pretty damn fast, though. So yeah, let's just, let's just make them all. We'll have a huge stack of wooden arrows. 500 to be precise. Well, actually, 500. Yeah, 500. Exactly. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, all right, so let's move uh, towards our quest location here. Um, the we, You also get more air, uh, feathers, rather, now from killing, you know, these guys and anything else that drops feathers. Um, uh, they're just, you know, doing that to make it so that we can make arrows a little bit easier than we were able to before. So I guess I'm cool with that. Um, I'm not generally speaking a fan of you know devs making their games easier to play just because you know they they tend to water them down too much in my opinion but you know i i guess you know for that particular thing it was pretty hard to get that stuff so i'm not i'm not really too worried about it i guess that's what it boils down to right okay so let's see we're heading this direction let's go up this way Lots of sulfur on the side of the hill here. Yeah, the, um, um, what the hell is it called? The saffron. That stuff is not abundant, man. I mean, it's, a. Uh, it took me a while to gather all that up. 
it's certainly around. You can get it, but to get it in quantity, it's a little bit tough. Once we get to the point, you know, where we can grow it, then it won't be a big deal, but we're not quite at that point yet. Okay, so here's the camp, the obelisk excavation camp. Um, let's go... Let's go um, check this out first. As the final tide frees us, finally, remnants of an elusive age cast away. Drowned in waves, yet another evil. A mistake, brushed away and sealed. Let the water flush out all that is tainted. After us, the flood. Okay, some mumbo jumbo about a flood. Um, I think the thing we actually need to read is in here. A new venture. Our previous expedition to the old boneyard was a major success. I'll always be indebted to that stranger. Our fateful encounter revealed more than I could have hoped for, although I wonder how he knew those old inscriptions. I'm beyond inspired. The library's runes showed similarities to ancient writings, so I've begun to analyze the ancient obelisk to verify my theory. There's just one issue. I might have left my scientific instruments behind an Eldermere dam when the draconian vultures came soaring. One shadow and I dropped them in a panic. Well, for now, my trusty glossary and glasses will have to do it. It cannot be too hard, can it? Okay, so we need to find some place called Eldermere Dam. Uh, let's look at the quest log and um, show on map. Okay, so that is quite a ways north, but it's pretty much in line with these other places that we want to go to. So yeah, we'll we'll start heading that way. What does this have? Some linen. That's good. We're gonna need lots of that. What's that? Glass shards. Okay. Um, alright, so let's see here. We can... Yeah, I, can... I'm only... I only have one more altar that I can do. I don't think we need all three of these altars here. So why don't we... Where else do I have an altar? This is up... Yeah, we want to keep that one there for the moment. We want to keep that one there because that allows us to go down into the iron mine. This one I had here for 10, but I don't know that we're going to need 10 a whole lot anymore. So why don't we go here, pick this up, and then I'm going to go back home and sleep. And what I'll do is I'll meet you guys in the, the morning. Let me get this picked up here. Okay, so I'll meet you guys in the morning um, somewhere right before we go into here, and we'll set a new uh, flame altar down there. All right, guys, um, it is the next morning. We are actually at this bone shard excavation camp. Um, I did not read this off camera. Let's read it now and see what it does. Clues from a shaman. I met a shaman while investigating the bone graveyard. Quiet, unwilling to speak or answer my many questions. Atypical for Kindle West, for a Kindle Waste dweller. An oath of silence, maybe? Perhaps he lives among the fossils, as he seemed to revere them in a way I did not understand. When I uttered another question his way, he simply drew a rune in the sand. Old hieroglyphics. I became intrigued. I returned to East Lapis, where the archive held a dusty codex for the runes of the shaman wrote. For the runes the shaman wrote. I recognized the one he drew immediately, and its translation shocked me. Dragons. Oh. Okay, so this might actually help. Did that give us a new quest? Uh, fortification, mixed stone. It doesn't appear like it did. Um, so, but it said something about East Lapis. So I guess we'll have to still have to find that on our own because nothing's marking it for us. Um, is there anything up here to take a quick look at? There's a chest. Oh, look at that. Ten more poison arrows. We'll take it. Uh, there's something over here, too. Hmm. Nope. Don't do that.
I guess these are just scaffoldings for mining. I'm not saying anything. All right, well, let's continue heading north here and see what happens. Some kind of a mine over here. Oh, it's a big sulfur mine. Okay. Okay, why don't we go ahead and put a flame altar down here? Um, except for I don't have any dock on stone. Can't take me anywhere. Hmm, where do we get stone in this place? We're gonna have to find some. Uh, we're gonna have to find some stones. This is that'll that'll give sandstone. Shit, didn't even think about that. Oh, all right. Is it possible for us to get stone just from this? That's taking far, far too long to break. Okay, well, let me think about this. I... Well, I'll tell you what, let's just press on and um, we'll just see what happens. If we can come up with a way to get some stone going through here, that would be fantastic. Brittle bush. Okay. Thing up here. Not seeing any enemies. Not yet, anyway. There's a chest. Got a big explosive. There's an enemy. He was level 23. So if he's around, that means there's probably other guys around. So why don't we go ahead and buff up? I don't think we need that. Let's take one of these. And we'll take this. And we will take... Uh, we wanted to finish the sugar. Let's do that first. Because I don't think it's used for anything else. Um... Okay, so there's a guy over there. Let's go here. Okay, that gives us a nice bunch of health. This will give us health regen. Look at our health regenerating. That's very nice. And that also gives us stamina regen too. So we don't even need to heal because that'll just heal us up automatically. Uh, all right, so let's see. What are we working on? We're working on the alchemist actually, right? Um, show on map. Oh, no. We're not working on that. That's way up there. Wasn't there one... Yeah, brittle bush. A beehive smoker. Let's, um, let's do this one since it's in this town somewhere. Over that direction. That's the... That's the palm wood there. It looks pretty nice. Um, I like the... The flooring of the palm wood as well. Just look and see if there's anything in here to loot. Not really. Okay. Alright, let's move towards where we need to go next for the beehive. Oh, 
there's our dual wielding green buddy. Oh shit! Wow. I tried to parry that, and obviously didn't do a very good job of it. All right, let's um. He's resisting. Oh, he's just resisting the poison from our arrows. Or no, actually, we're using the wood arrows. We should probably switch to the good arrows for this guy. He's tough. Oh, yeah, look at that shot, man. That just about killed him. Suck it, dude. Okay. Yeah, that fruit salad is nice, man. I don't even have to worry about healing. It'll just heal me up. A dude way over there. <laughs> One shot. You know the nice thing about being maxed out on our no, not don't do that. Uh, on our flame level is that we there shouldn't be any more deadly shroud. We should be able to go anywhere for the rest of our playthrough here. And look at this. Repair. Nice. He dropped a decent amount of stuff there. Come over here, dummy. Apparently he didn't realize that. Is this a well? It is. It's just a different styled well. Pretty cool. Another repair station. Nothing in there. Level 23, Shepherd's Lightning Staff. Looks like that's about all that's down here. Level 23, Club of Defiance, level 66. That is probably a two-hander. Yes, it is. Look at this thing, though, man. Pretty cool. Uh, but... We're not doing two-handers. Not in this playthrough. Um, this is 44 power versus 40. So that's actual upgrade. So we'll salvage this. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It's just the one room there. It's just fun to kind of explore these places, just look and see what's here. There was um, a downstairs in this other spot right here. Uh-oh. What do we got, rats? Oh, shit. Those guys are bad juju, man. They took half of my health down. Um, okay. Oh, he's just a normal. I'm actually low on um, goo. So I need to loot those guys. Oh, shit! Damn. He just came out of the floor, man. What the hell? It's hacks. Am I missing something? Not really. I mean, not in terms of a chest or like a secret wall or something. Secret door. Oh, 
Oh, there is a chest up there. Just happened to notice it. Um, how do we get up there? Over here, maybe? Level 23 Hunter's Bow. Um, damn, 33 power, wow. You know, one of the things I really like, though, about this bow is it's got 20% arrow speed. This does too, but this has a second draw, whereas this is 0.6 seconds. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and salvage that. It, it could have been a decent upgrade. But I think I want to stick with what we have for now. Anything up here? Got this big mill wheel up here. Let's drop down into here. Are we fully healed in case we run into more of those exploding bugs? We are, yeah. I'm kind of low on um, the glowing potions, so that's why I'm using the torch for now. Here we go. A sun axe. Oh my goodness, look at the damage on that sucker. 44 damage. We could upgrade it with 8 more cutting damage, but we lose all this other stuff. So, yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and salvage that too then. It's a nice axe, though. I think we came out that way, didn't we? Where does this go? up here earlier. Okay, I'm just trying to see if we have any chests anywhere on these other rooftops. Not really. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can do the next leg of this quest. He should get blown up by his own stuff, man. Okay. We need to go that direction. Just run in here real quick. I know I can break the door down, but I've got more scrap metal than I know what to do with, so we'll just use the lockpicks. Nothing up here that I can see. Down into the shroud. Oh, we got a little bit of a graphical problem there. Okay, let's go up this way. What's up, dude? Can you get up here? Oh, yep, you can.
He did. Um. Have an arrow sandwich. What's up here? not even lootable. Hmm. There's a save point. The walls are alive. Townspeople be warned. You must pray elsewhere for these halls are haunted. I saw it with my own eye. I was marveling at the spark when the flame suddenly began to dance and whip around in a strange rhythm. I thought it to be a trick of the light, but once my eye adjusted, I saw a ghastly shape emerge from the ground. Twisting the fire was a nebulous horror. Skeletal remains aflame in spectral glow. It shifted towards me through floorboards and flame, its lips leaking curses and rot. Let me tell you, I've never scampered so quickly in all my life. Had I stayed, I swear on my sisters, I'd have lost my other eye. Ellen. Okay. Sounds a little foreboding. <clears throat> Somebody over on the other side of that wall. We'll blow that thing up. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, no. Delete, not equip. Okay. These guys are all lootable. So this is where we heard combat. What were you guys fighting? Giving me lots of sh shroud elixirs. Poison arrow, iron arrow. We got some more sparks, but I don't know what we do with them now. Since we, um... Oh, shit! You know, since we've upgraded the flame and all that. Let's go with poisoned arrows for you. Give you a little bit of poison. Actually, I'm not sure if the poison works on humanoids. I think it's more just for animals. At least that's what the description implies. doesn't seem to be something I can break through. Okay. What do we got going on down here? It's a shroud muckety muck. Get rid of all these guys. Okay, not really seeing anything significant down on that side. And 
likewise on this side. Okay. What's through these doors? looting metal scraps let's take this we still have elixir buff and flask of the fell we got so much time in the shroud now which is a damn good thing right all right let's open this door and see what happens Wow, this place is huge. Oh, this is the Haunted Sun Temple. I think we have to fight a Sickle Scythe boss in here. This guy's going to follow me all the way over here. Yo. You did. They get stuck behind the door there. So a good way to, to fight this guy, because I've fought him a few times now, of course, is blink past him and then shoot him in the back if you're an archer. He did. So this is actually a quest that the carpenter wanted us to do. Go to the sun temple and kill, kill the baddie. So since we're here, we might as well do it, right? I'm going to go ahead and pop one of these. Okay, so... We can either go left or straight. Let's go left. With a button there. I'm not haunted center. I'm not exactly sure what we're these oh, that's what we're doing. We're opening that with the buttons. Gotcha. Okay. Oh shit. That scared me. Let's uh change the wooden arrows. Uh, I'm gonna get the critter parts off these guys. Okay, where is your nest? I don't see a nest for them. Crackling wand, 44 damage. Uh, let's see, this one does 40 damage, this one does 44. We'll switch them around. I know that one's probably better if we upgrade it, but I'm honestly not too worried about it. Uh, okay, so we have 10 minutes left on the shroud timer. There's the bad guy or gal or whatever. Oh, crap. All right. Let's get rid of these guys first. 
Uh, we want to be on these arrows for the main boss. Is it? Is it bugged? I think it's bugged. Okay. Well, that was um, easier than it was supposed to be. <laughs> but uh, let's call that payment for getting ripped off from the other Sickle Scythe boss that I killed. Um, okay, so we're going to just uh, salvage that. We got the head. And that should have finished the Carpenter's Quest. Yeah, Sun Temple Stories. And the reward is the head of the boss itself. Okay. Um, let's just look around real quick to see if there are any chests in here. Or other things to find. We'll check this side out. Yeah, that was... Uh, it's kind of a bummer that that fight cheesed out like that, but whatever. Uh, what I what my plan was going to be was I was just going to I was going to block uh, I was going to dodge the skull block the sickles and then shoot you know um, in between that was my plan but obviously it didn't work so well ooh look at that staff 44 power this one has 44 power this one has 44 but it also has upgrades so we're going to take that Nice. Okay, so we got that quest knocked out. Um, just do it. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go down there. Not good. Let's go back to wooden arrows. Just got some bugs up here. That's not what I wanted to do. Cut it out. Just looking to see if there's... Oh, no, 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 not you. No, 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 don't go that way. Those red bugs are dangerous AF, man. I'll tell you what. They really are. Okay, we're getting our health regen back. Man, I love that fruit salad. It's awesome. There's something over there. Just a couple more bug bugaboos. Okay, I think we've explored this whole temple area. Faraway Frey Tavern. Frey as in like Emily Frey? See, look, you knocked yourself off the ledge, you dummy. How'd that work out for you? What does this say? No honey, no honey, root beer, no glazed and grilled, yucca. Or summer spice tea until my beehive smoker and honeycomb arrive from East Lapis. There's that East Lapis again. Until then, creamy tomato soup, stuffed bell peppers, and this week only, draconian vulture wing fillet served with sour cream and potato wedges. Get it while it's hot. That's our Emily. Okay. Um, so that updated the beehive quest. Um, What's it from East Lapis show on map? Okay, so that's probably East Lapis right there. Well, it could be. Not necessarily. It could be. Far away, southern. Haunted. Okay. Um, Alright, where are we at with the quest? So, we need to get to East Lapis for this. And let's, 
uh, let's go back to this as the main quest. Yeah, that's also in the same general area. Um, okay. I wonder if... If we can use this spire to get closer to those locations. Let's find out. I need to go home, too, and sleep. Um, let's take a look here. So that's all this direction. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think so. Except for, maybe we, maybe we do go that way and we go through the shroud to get there. Because it looks like, you know, that goes into the shroud. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is go home, sleep, repair, all that good stuff. I'll meet you guys back here at the spire in the morning. And we'll go a little bit further. All right, guys, um, we are uh, back at the base, as you can see here, and I've got some new quests, so we might as well grab those now. Uh, Flameborn, have you explored any elixir well in the Kindle Waste? They are the youngest of their kind. Oh, they send shivers down my spine. If we nab some well blocks from their depths, we could create a true monument. Okay, so some new blocks to go after. Our hunter has a new quest for us, the greatest game. You're a good shot, Flameborn, but, you are, but are you cold-blooded? Does your pulse slow before the kill? I know an enemy camp that might be your match. Go on, snuff them out. Okay, um, so we got a new quest to go snuff out an enemy camp. Um, Emily doesn't have anything new for us, but our alchemist does. Above and beyond. Flameborn, I've made the greatest of discoveries. Yes, friend, the stars smile upon us at last. A legendary glider to rise above and beyond the wind currents. More valuable than any other. Search it and sail like the Blue Jays, friend. All right, uh, so... Another glider, even better than the one we have. Nice. Um, okay, I don't think the blacksmith has anything new for us there. And, um... So what are we... Oh, okay, we have the extraordinary glider. Interesting, okay. Interesting. Okay, I think we're ready to set back out again. So... You know what I think I would do want to do though is I want to I'm making some antiseptic. Uh it's that it takes a while. Okay. Yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna wait for that. Alright, let's head back to this spire here. And we'll see if we can travel through the shroud to get to these new locations. Okay, let's go. Wow, man, I I already really, really like this glider, so if we're, if we're going to get an even better one, that's just that's just badass, man. That's all I got to say about it. It's badass. At some point, I should get that updraft skill to it, but that's super useful. Uh, all right. Before we actually go into this place, we should go ahead and buff up. So let's take one of these. I'm just using up these little ones. I can make the big ones now. Uh, we'll take one of those. And then we will take one of those. One of those. One of those. And one of those. All right, we are ready to go. So we have 18 minutes in the shroud. As we're currently set up here what is our for our act request the scientific thingy yeah okay scientific instruments so again i'm assuming this will lead us there i don't know that for sure we are gonna find out though a little tiny pocket of non-shroud. Might as well recharge our timer. Okay, well, I guess that gets us out of the shroud, back into Kendall Waste. Uh, whereabouts are we at? Oh, we are very close to where we need to be, except for that I think we're we're too, too low down, though. Those are probably up high. Maybe. I don't know that for sure, though. Um, let's go this direction. Alright, we do have a camp over here. 
I think this is where we're supposed to go. Eldermere Dam Excavation Camp. Oh, I bet you that's our thing right up there. Guarded by a vulture. Nice, scientific instruments. Very good, okay. Got that one knocked out. It's a beautiful thing. All right, what do we got going on over here? On the disappearance of water, field notes, day 19. Believe it or not, water used to be plentiful in the Kendall Wastes. Yet when I asked some of the locals what befell these lands, I could not get a consistent answer from any of them. Everything from a mysterious sun god sucking the water into the heavens to the ground cracking open in the entire lake basin draining like a fishbowl. None of it made sense. The fact is, one day, Eldermere Dam stopped giving water, even when the spillways were completely open. I have heard whispers from far corners of Embervale of a blight emerging from beneath the ground, a world killer. Could these two environmental calamities be related? Lorraine Krim. Uh, they certainly could be. Yes, indeed, they certainly could be. Okay. Um, let's uh, just look around a little bit more here. There's another thing to read down there. Whoop. A fire wisp summon. Another fire wisp summon, whatever the hell that is. What is that? The scroll summons a fire wisp that follows, assists you in battle, and provides light. Ooh. Okay, well hang on to that. Can see where that would definitely be useful. There's uh, something up here. Some iron arrows, nice. Little chest here. Shroud meteor, another fire wisp summon. Okay. And what does this have to say? Bones in the sand. The Kindleways hide many secrets, none more mysterious than the massive fossils of creatures long extinct. I have pondered the origin of their species, but this wasteland of a desert holds no answers. If you ask the local tribesmen, they will tell you the bones are of the gods, but I know this to be false. I have theories, but need to do some more careful digging. I have a promising site in mind already. Lorraine Krim. Okay. Anything over here? Does not appear to be. Lockpick and nails. Wooden arrows and small health potions. Experience scroll. Uh, we might as well eat those right now. Greater shroud potion. Lots of good stuff around here. Okay. Um, can we go in here? Negative. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think it's time for us to wrap up this episode here. So uh, I think what we'll do is we're just going to pick up right where we left off in the next episode. And we're going to continue on. Um, we need to get the loom. This is just the turn in now for uh, for the alchemist. We need to get the loom and the beehive smoker. I wonder why that didn't. I guess that did update. But usually, yeah, okay, never mind. We are on that square. Okay, among the Blue Jays, the alchemist mentioned the location of a legendary glider. Okay, that's going to be, oh, wow, that is way, way down in the southeastern corner. And that's where Emily wants us to go for the greatest game. Okay, I still want to prioritize, though, the... Why did those both say beehive smoker? I don't know. I want to prioritize the loom, uh, which is in this place called East Lapis, but I have no idea where it is because it doesn't it doesn't give us F for showing where it is on the map. Um, but I mean, you know, we'll we'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. 
Uh, but anyway, with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.